Okay, so for the tail, we are going to start with six single crochets into the magic ring. So I already did that. So now in the second row, we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches. Okay, so we'll increase. Okay, and we'll continue increasing. Okay, and increase in all the remaining stitches. Okay, so now in the next two rows, which is row three and row four, we are going to do single crochets all around in each row for a total of 12 stitches in each row. So I'll see you when you're done with the fourth row so that we do the fifth row together. Okay, so now in our fifth row, we are going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. So we'll do single crochet, then increase, and we'll keep repeating that. Single crochet, increase, and repeat that all the way round. Okay, so now in our sixth row, we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. Okay, so you're going to continue and do single crochet, single crochet, okay, and continue like that all the way until the end. Okay, so now in the seventh row, we are going to start by doing single crochet in the first six stitches. So we'll do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we'll increase in the next six stitches. So we'll increase. one then increase two then increase three increase four increase five increase six and then single crochet in the remaining six stitches okay so now we have a total of 30 stitches so in uh, row 10 we are going to do single crochets all the way round for a total of 30 stitches so you continue and do single crochet single crochet and you continue all the way to the end okay so now in the eighth row we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to continue and do single crochet single crochet all the way until the end okay so now in our ninth row we are going to start by doing single crochet in the first six stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six okay and then we'll increase in the next three stitches so increase one and then increase two and then increase the third time okay 
okay and then we'll repeat again one more time so we'll do six single crochets so single crochet one two three four five six increase three times and single crochet in the remaining six stitches so we'll have a total of 30 stitches okay so now in row 10 we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 30 stitches so we'll continue and do single crochets and continue all the way until the end okay so now in row 11 uh, we are going to do single crochet in the first six stitches so single crochet one two three four five six and then we'll increase in the next three stitches so increase three times Okay, and then single crochet in the next 12 stitches so single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and then we'll increase in the next three stitches okay so increase three times And then single crochet in the remaining six stitches okay so we have a total of 36 stitches okay so now in round 12 we are going to do single crochets all the way round for a total of 36 stitches so we'll continue and do single crochets okay and we'll do single crochets all the way until the end okay so now in the 13th row which is the last row of the tail we are going to start by doing 15 single crochets so we'll do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, and continue until you have 15 single crochets. Okay, so now after the 15 single crochets, we'll Okay, so after the 15 single crochets, we'll increase six times. So increase one, increase two, increase three, four, five, and six 
okay and then in the remaining 15 stitches we'll do single crochet all the way to the end okay so continue and do single crochets all the way until the end okay so when we get to the end we'll slip stitch and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing okay so now we'll make the wings okay so for the wings we'll start by making six single crochets into the magic ring in the first row okay so now in the second row we are going to increase each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches okay so we'll continue and increase and increase the next stitch okay and increase in all the other stitches okay so now in the third row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase and repeat single crochet and increase and continue repeating that all the way round okay so now in the fourth round we are going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two then increase and repeat two single crochets increase and repeat that all the way round okay so now in the fifth row we are going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 30 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and increase then repeat three single crochets and increase and repeat that all the way round okay so now for the next five rows which is from row six to row ten we're going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of 30 stitches in each row so i'll see you when you're done with the 10th row so that we finish up together okay so after the 10th row this is how our wing should look like okay so now uh in the next part we are going to fold uh the wing flat like that into two parts and we are going to crochet 15 single crochet until here the end okay so i'm just going to remove my marker okay and then i'm going to crochet in both sides so single crochet one and then in the next three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 12 13 14 
and the last one 50 okay so after that we'll do a chain seven so one two three four five six and seven and then we'll turn around and here in the next stitch we'll just do a single crochet and then we'll keep repeating that so chain seven one two three four five six seven and then single crochet in the next stitch and keep repeating that so chain seven one two three four five six seven and then single crochet in the next stitch okay and repeat that all the way to the end okay so when we get to the end now uh, I'm going to go into the same stitch that I did the single crochet and I'm going to slip stitch and cut off the yarn okay so we're going to attach the wing just like that on the body okay so now let's make the beak okay so for the beak uh, I'm going to use the pink yarn so first we'll do the six single crochet into the magic ring in the first row and then in the second row we'll in increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches okay so we'll increase in the first stitch okay increase also in the next stitch and also increase in all the remaining stitches okay so now in the third row we are going to do single crochet all the way round for a total of 12 stitches so you continue and do single crochet all the way until you get to the end okay so now in the fourth row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet and then increase and repeat single crochet increase and repeat that all the way round okay so now for the next uh, four rows which is from row 5 until row 8 we are going to do single crochets all the way round in each row for a total of 18 stitches in each row so i'll see when you're done with the eighth row so that we do the ninth row together okay so now um after the eighth row now in row nine which is the last row of the big we are going to start by doing six single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and six and then we are going to increase six times so we'll increase one two increase three four five and six okay and then in the remaining six stitches we'll do single crochet all the way until the end Okay, so we have a total of uh, 24 stitches. Okay.
okay so when you get to the end uh, I'm going to go into the next stitch slip stitch and then I'll cut the yarn long enough for sewing okay so as you can see the curved part over here is going to be the top part when we are touching uh, on the head okay so now we're going to make the legs okay so for the legs also I'm going to use the pink yarn and we're going to start with six single crochets into the magic ring in the first row and now in the second row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches okay so we'll increase and then increase the next stitch increase in the next stitch too and increase also in all the remaining stitches okay so now in the third row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase in the next stitch and repeat single crochet increase And repeat that all the way round okay so now in the fourth row we are going to do two single crochets then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two and increase and repeat two single crochets increase and repeat all the way round okay so now in the fifth round we are going to work in the back loops only and we are going to do single crochets all the way around but in the back loop only so we're going to have a total of 24 stitches so I'm going to go into the back loop of the next stitch and do single crochet and I'll do that in all the stitches okay so single crochet single crochet single crochet so you should have uh, this little bump over here when you uh, when you crochet in the back loop okay and you're going to continue like that all the way round okay so now uh, in the sixth row we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 24 stitches okay so we'll continue and do single crochets the normal way Okay, and you continue like that all the way round okay so now uh, in the seventh row we are going to start by doing six single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six and then we'll decrease six times so we'll decrease the first time and then decrease two decrease three four five and six okay and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining stitches so we'll have a total of 18 stitches okay so continue and do 
single crochet in the remaining six stitches. Okay, so now in our eighth row, we are going to do single crochets in the in the first three stitches. So single crochet one, two, and three. Okay, and then we are going to decrease six times. So decrease one, two. three four five and six Okay, so after that now for the next 15 rows which is from row 9 until row 23 we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of 12 stitches in each row but before you continue make sure you uh, stuff the bottom part of the feet and then continue in all the other uh, rows so now I'll see you when you're done with the 23rd row and then we'll finish up together okay so after the 23rd row this is how our leg looks like so make sure you stop until the top so now we're going to finish up and I'm going to remove my marker and then I'll slip stitch over here and then I'll cut the yarn long enough for sewing Okay, so now after that, we are going to join all the parts together. Okay, so guys, as you can see, I've already finished attaching all the parts together. So first, uh, what I did is I attached the wings. And from the neck here, you're going to count uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And on the 8th row, you're going to attach your wings. Uh, so you're going to uh, attach it looking like that at the back and then uh, you're going to sew it over here as you can see so same thing with the other wing okay and then after I attached my wings I attached the beak and uh, for the beak uh, you count from the top I counted one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and on the eleventh row i attached uh, with the curved part uh, looking at the top and then after you sew it here at the top you're going to fill it up and then uh, you're going to sew it here at the bottom and then uh, after that i came here at the back and i attach uh, the little uh, tail as you can see so for the tail uh, you're going to count uh, from here at the bottom you're going to count one two three four five six seven and on the eighth row you're going to attach um, the tail with the top part with the curved part uh, looking at the top and the same case uh, we attach the beak you're going to sew it first here at the top then fill it up and then you're going to uh, close it here uh, down here okay so now uh, for the legs you have to see uh, where you want to attach it uh, for me I attach it right after the tail so the next row I attach uh, this leg and uh, this other one on the other side as you can see or also uh, you can see where the tail finishes you attach it right below there on the side and on this other side also they have to be in line together okay so basically that's how it looks like 
so now for my eyes here uh, what I did is I did six single crochets with the black yarn and then after that in the second row <coughs> Okay, so now for the eyes what I did is um, I used the black yarn uh, for the inside part and I did six single crochets with the uh, black yarn then I changed the white yarn and with the white yarn I increased every stitch around for a total of 12 single crochets okay so uh, that's basically it uh, so easy and same case with the other one okay so guys i hope you enjoy this pattern if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and also check out my other videos until next time bye